Hello everyone, today let's learn what is the difference between class limits and class boundaries. So let's take the first case. These are the class intervals, these are the frequencies. Now we have class intervals 1 to 7, 8 to 14 and so on. Now class interval 1 to 7 means all data values from 1 to 7 including 1 and 7. So 1 is the minimum value of data in the class interval and 7 is the maximum value of data in the class interval. So we'll say 1 as the lower class limit and 7 as the upper class limit. Now because 7 is also included in that class interval, these intervals are also known as inclusive class intervals because the upper class limit is included in that class interval. Now friends, these type of class intervals are very useful to depict discrete data. Now what are discrete data? Well, any data that takes only specific values are discrete data. For example, say the marks of students or number of vehicles in a family, these values are only particular values. But there are certain type of data which can take any value. For example, say daily temperatures in your city or height and weight of a person. These data are known as continuous data. Now, did you notice friends that there is a gap between the upper class limit and the lower class limit of the previous class? See here. Now, suppose I have continuous data. Say, suppose I want to add this observation 7.3. Now the confusion is, in which class interval should I add it? Should I add it here 1 to 7 or in 8 to 14? Also with these class intervals, we cannot draw histograms for the data, nor can we calculate the median or mood. So to overcome these problems, the concept of class boundaries is very useful and it's very easy to calculate. Just subtract the upper limit and the lower limit of the previous class. So here let me take 8 and 7, 8 minus 7 will give you 1, usually the gap is 1 only, just divide it by 2. What will we get? 0 0.5. Now subtract the 0 0.5 from the lower class limit. So let me do that and add the 0 0.5 to the upper class limit and do it for every class interval like this friends. So let me do it. Here I'll get 7.5 to 14.5. Yes, here I'll get 14.5, 21.5. 21.5 to 28.5. Now is there any gap between the upper class limit and the lower class limit? Not at all. So where will I put the 7.3? Yes, very confidently we can say that it will go to this class interval. So how is it clear now? Because we have now set clear boundary on what is the beginning of each class and what is the ending of each class. That's why these are known as boundaries. So because this is the minimum value value. This is known as the lower class boundary. So here 0.5 is the lower class boundary and 7.5 is the upper class boundary. So this way you can find the lower class boundary and upper class boundary for all the class intervals. Now because the upper class boundary value is excluded from each class interval, these are also known as exclusive class intervals. So friends, with these class boundaries, you can now draw your histograms, you can add continuous data, you can also calculate median and mode. So friends, I hope this case is clear to you. Now let's go to the second case. Here we have again class intervals, frequency. Just have a look at the class intervals, 4 to 9, 9 to 14 and so on. Do you observe any gap between the upper class limit and the lower class limit of the previous class? Not at all. So that means these are exclusive class intervals and the class limits and the class boundaries here are going to be one and the same. So the lower class limit here will be equal to the lower class boundary. The upper class limit will be equal to the upper class boundary. These are exclusive class intervals. The values are going to be one and the same. So if we take this class interval four to nine, what will be the lower class limit? Yes, it will be 4 and that will also be the lower class boundary. Similarly, 9 will be the upper class limit as well as the upper class boundary. So friends, I hope that you found this video useful. If so, do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments, your questions, feedback in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.